What's going on, all you beautiful individuals? My name's Ryan or Tootie, and we're back at it again with another video, guys, coming at you. It's time. We need to unlock Marceline. Marceline, I can never pronounce names right. I've always been bad at that. And I'm ready, okay? Let's do this. We only have two more levels until we unlock her, and I am so ready, okay? We've been playing on the hardest difficulties because we ain't weenies. That's not us, okay? We got some epic strategies coming your way today, guys. Let's see how powerful this lady can be. So she's really, she only costs 350. So she's really, wait, wait, wait. So it looks like they're gonna come both ways. So I think we wanna probably put her like right there. The and now I'm gonna need, I need to save up to get the $600. And once I get the $600, I think it'll be a lot easier. Oh my gosh, she is so weak. I wanna get the candy archers. Do I save up? Okay, let's save up and get candy archers. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now that we have the candy archers, that's actually helping out a ton. We're gonna need a little bit more money though. Oh my gosh. Now she makes those, she gets so many of those. That's insane. And they're really powerful. So wait, what if we do this and then we go ahead and we get um, Jake and throw our tuxedo Jake who plays like the music. And does that make it so all of these guys get the bonus damage? Cause if that's true, that would be a really crazy combo that I haven't even thought of. Let's see, I need to get rid of this guy. And then I can put him right there. Okay, so let's see if they do like crazy damage now. They should, they should be able to, oh no, they're sending zebra balloons. Oh my gosh, but the, still, this is like really strong. I was not expecting this to be this good because you have so many characters just like all attacking at once. And we can also get uh, inspiring presence, which allows her to summon characters even faster, which is gonna be awesome. What I really wanna try to do is, I mean, I guess we're, since we're doing okay for now, we definitely wanna get, uh, we wanna start making money because our money, our, money's, our money situation is real low. It's real low. Here, let's just use a Billy Jump, and then we can go ahead and we can get Musician and also Royalties. I really want to try out the Ice King, because, like, remember, I don't know if you guys missed last episode, we got something that slows balloons. I think the Ice King is going to make balloons so slow. First of all, this, this guy's got to go. Right. There we go. All right, so balloons should be 50% slowed already just by placing him down which is gonna be crazy anyways that's why i'm actually really excited to see once we get that that quote-unquote like chill that makes him even better it's gonna be so nutty like it's gonna be so nutty these balloons are just gonna barely be able to move it's gonna be so good we'll be there one day i don't know we want to go ahead and we want to try to get the um the superstar upgrade, which was we're only like 500 gold away. That's not too bad. We'll get there one day. I believe in us, okay? All right, 4,000. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's more than enough. All right, now we have superstar. So now we can make tons of money. All right, so crown influence, ice bolts, wizard eyes. I want to get chill to the bone, winter weather. That's the upgrade that I want to get. Winter weather. So the air around icing slows balloons on contact. Balloons are going to be so slow. Okay, let's see. Watch how slow. I want to see how slow balloons are. We also want to get uh, arrows of rain, which is really strong, too. He's just super crazy. This actually, she's a really strong character. If you put her down and just get the uh, the allies right off the bat, and then I want to get inspiring prisons. I want to upgrade her. So summon the gumball guards to attack balloons with their swords. That seems really cool. Like, that would seem like you could have like a huge army. Wait, if you increase her attack speed, does she summon more? Okay, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so what if we do this? And then what if we also get Royal Fury? Um. Okay. One, two. I, I think it's still the same speed, which is a little unfortunate. Because that could have been really cool if you could increase it. But still, combat training. I don't really care about combat expertise, right? So, warrior PB. So, there's gumball science. So, it increases the range and attack speed of the gumball guards. And you can also get call and air support from candy chopters. Chop copters. That might be, like, crazy. I just realized. You might be able to just get an entire army from one character. Like, one character spawning in just, like, hundreds of people. 
That's actually gonna be really crazy. I want to try that out and see like what happens with that. That seems really good, right? That seems really powerful. What I like right now though is this ice guy makes balloons so slow. They like actually can't go anywhere. Okay, let's here. Let's sell. Let's sell these characters. I wanna. I really wanna see. Let's also get rid of PB. Okay. So it's just the ice king. Look at how slow these balloons move. They move pretty fast, but as soon as they hit this, look, they look, look at how slow the balloons move. Uh -huh. Here, let's get uh, Inspiring Melody. Look at that. This is him by himself. Is Look at how powerful he is. Look at how slow the balloons are. Oh my gosh, he can take on anything. And then the penguins just run through and annihilate everything. Create an army. Oh, so that's an ability. I don't really care. Even mobs hit by Ice King, Lightning, are frozen. That is crazy that he can freeze like... Guys, look at how insane he is! It's just him, and he's popping every balloon, even like ceramics, by himself just so easily. The problem is it's just because the, the balloons are so slow that they don't they can't do anything, and he just pops everything. Look at that! That's crazy! What even are the balloons supposed to- Oh my gosh, look at all those penguins. What is supposed to get- Nothing can get by those penguins. Look at that. I wonder what makes all the penguins spawn. Because look, then like it spawns like a wave of penguins. Does he get pops with those penguins? He does. 13,000 pops. Okay, the Ice King is... Look at that. Look at that. And then look at all those zombie balloons. That's so many zombie balloons. Okay, wait. We're not gonna... We can't... He can't pop a Moab by himself, right? Okay. So I'm gonna put this guy here. And then, because I want to see, I want to just put this guy here just for, like, defense. Because I still want to just see how powerful, against, like, normal balloons, the Ice King seems quite unbeatable. Just because of, like, the penguins and everything. I guess eventually he just gets overrun, but, like, the, the even slows Moabs down by, like, 60-70%. Look, the Moabs just don't go anywhere. They just kind of stop in their tracks. I don't even know what to do. It Like, it just seems so overpowered. Guys, we actually, like, lucked out with this guy. He slows balloons so much, and then he does so much damage. Look at that. 20,000 pops at round 48. I mean, this guy's got almost 5,000 pops, but that's besides the point. He's taking out Moabs, okay? He needs, he's got some backup, but I've never expected the Ice King to be this overpowered. Dungeon Finn is, like, a guaranteed, like, everybody just loses. I kind of want to put that, the... The, the rocket on the ice king like this this rocket i kind of want to just put it on the ice king because i feel like that would make the ice king so powerful i guess there's like a lot of different things that you can put on people to make them even more powerful and i guess it's not good to put all your eggs in one basket is the saying guys because obviously well if you drop your basket well then all your eggs are broken and just having him as a support tower makes him insane but the fact that he does so much damage on top of that is just so cool Guys, okay, all those zombie balloons are really scary. Guys, is it just me or zombie balloons super duper satisfying? I don't know why, but I just feel like zombie balloons are... It's just satisfying to, like, mow them down and, like, see all those tombstones and see them pop back up again and just mow them down again. I don't know why, but I just find it really satisfying. Like, look at that. And then they all respawn and you just boom. I've never ever had this much money in the game before. I don't know what to do with all of it. It's so much money. It's crazy. Okay, how's it going? I mean, it's still going pretty well so far for us. There we go. Come on. Not bad. Oh, round 58. What is this? The cold spell freezes all balloons and damages Moabs. Okay, let's put this hot dog warrior down. Oh, wait, I don't want to use all of them. Oh, no, they just mowed through them. My poor, my poor hot dog friends. How much do the hot dog knights cost? Oh, here comes his OMG. Not for long. Bada bing, bada boom. And there it goes. Poof. In turns into a butterfly. Just a sweet little butterfly. It didn't stand a chance. All right, we're going to just take all of these. I want to level up double rewards mm, cosmic essence yes we're done double the rewards for cosmic essence that seems really good okay let's let's do this crazy strategy let's go to our allies and we're gonna want to upgrade uh warrior pb okay level her up okay 
So we're gonna want to use so she leveled up to two Okay, she hit level two. I really want to just level her up a ton. She has no trinkets pops lead every fifth attack forks lightning Okay, let's what else do we have? Gain one life per 100 pops. Uh, what else? Tree trunks preferred weapon from her time on the high seas. What does it do? Um, gives you range and pierce. Gives plus one in-game cash per ten pops. No, it actually gives <laughs> it actually gives you real money when you pop it. Upgrade copters. So we need to get her to level five. So you can call in. Oh, wait, is that an ability? No, that's not an ability. That's just she gets helicopters too. Okay, we're gonna be right back, guys, because we're gonna try to upgrade her up to level five so we can get some even crazier upgrades. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, I actually wasn't able to get anything. I tried to refresh the store a couple of times, but I was never able to get anything where I could upgrade her character. So unfortunately, we're just gonna have to live with her being level three. So we're not gonna see what the helicopters are, but we'll be able to come back eventually and try it out. So let's put on a couple of cool things here. So allows placement on water, so adds the balloon. So I think the balloon trap, it would be pretty cool to throw on her. Cause she, if we put her as a starting tower, she's not that powerful. Let's see, what's this? It gets, gets an additional laser attack. It's going to be pretty sweet. I like the idea of an additional laser attack. Uh, what else could we put on her? So allows placement on it. Gave an extra plus one pierce. Ah, uh, it's not that great. Uh, heals five lost lives per round. We'll equip that. And uh, what else could we put on her? I, we don't really have any other like crazy good stuff. Let's see. Equip the character's weapons. We'll see bonuses if this character was one star higher than they actually were. That could be pretty neat. Let's see. Activate a 5%. All of these things are like additional plus two pierce if Rent's Hilt Trinket is also equipped. I do not have that. Yeah, most of these are like whatever. 15% chance to paint gold balloons give more. Ooh. All right. I'll take that. All right. Cool. So now we got that, and if we have an extra ally slot, might as well equip an ally, right? I guess Shoko, because Shoko is a gold character and she's pretty cool. So let's do this. All right, now we're ready to go back in and finish this off. So let's attack her, play, or we're not attacking her, but we're going to go attack the balloons. And we're going to play in this last one. Wait, what kind of, what, what is even happening? But there's Marceline, so let's go get her. And we're gonna play on extreme because that's what we do. We're extreme gamers out here, okay? So there's Marceline. Oh, so the balloons are always gonna like swap it up. All right, so she only costs 350, so we can put we can put her down right here. Candy army uh, we don't we can't get the candy archers yet, but we'll be okay. So there's so it starts with the RC car, and I'm pretty sure they always are gonna go the same way. So we might lose some lives Two here. Arms. Okay, let's just do this. So let's get candy archers and we can also get the gumball guards. So yeah, so eventually it's just gonna like clear out uh, Let's also get our friend Maestro Okay, let's also we're gonna want to head go ahead and grab ourselves one of these guys Okay, so the path always changes. That's so cool. I really wish we could have gotten the helicopters. That would have been really, really cool. These guards are crazy strong, especially when we have all of them. Like, when, once they're all fighting, it's so good. Like, it is so good. All right, musician. We only need a thousand gold for that, okay? 500 more. We're getting there. We're starting to get some real money out here, okay? I believe this character. I, I have high hopes for this character. High... I think this character has the potential to be really cool, especially, I for completely forgot, you can get like helicopters and stuff. I mean, this is a level three character with basically no trinkets, just kicking okay. booty, okay? There we go, so now we need to start saving up to get Superstar. I don't, I love how Marzlin, she's just sitting there, she's just brooding. Oh, so look, so can balloons, wait, so balloons don't go the, don't go different ways this time. Interesting. And so we actually regenerate lost lives too. So every round we regenerate five lost lives because of the uh, trinket we have on, right? So literally every round, boom, another five lives. That's so cool. We're so close to superstar. We only need 600 more gold, 300 more gold. Okay, now we got it. Wow, we get money so fast. That's awesome. Okay, so now that we actually have the money, we can start upgrading her more. So now we can do... So someone, so here is the gumball guards. So there's the, oh my gosh, that's so cool. So increase the range and attack speed of the gumball guards. Inspiring presence, combat training, royal treasury, combat expertise. I really wish we would have gotten the helicopter. That would have been really cool. 
Combat expertise, reinforcements. Born to rule. Re Royal treasury and reinforcements apply to everyone's allies. Well, I don't really care too much about that. Okay. Wait, why were there some balloons that just came from that way? I have no idea. Oh my gosh, those guys are insane! Look how fast they attack! Did you look at that? Look how fast- Look, they're like- they attack so crazy fast, that is insanity. Okay, Warrior uh, Princess Bubblegum is just so overpowered. I was never expecting to see something this good. Like, it's good, but like I was not expecting something that good. No, I, I can put down Party Head. Cause he, look at that, look how crazy this like one thing looks. Here, we'll put him down so he can just kind of do his thing. Party Power, Party Crasher, and off the hook. There you go. He just he he just shoots a random laser beam. He just like yeah you know don't mind me. I'm just shooting an awesome dang laser beam. Let's put down let's put down our penguin friend right here. There we go. So far reaching flippers and then he is he's so weak. He is so weak. I just put so much money into him and he like can't pop any balloons. Look at like he like literally just doesn't react. I mean those are camo balloons I guess but like. He's just so, he's just so clueless and slow. He just doesn't attack. It's so sad. All those camo balloons, we're not worried about them. We ain't worried about them at all because we're about to get uh, spicy with our penguin here. We only need 8,000 more dollars and we'll get the Orgalorg upgrade. I don't know why we're gonna get the Orgalorg upgrade. There's no, there's no reason to, but we're gonna do it because it's awesome. It is pretty awesome though. It's like, I don't know. Some of the upgrades in this game seem so crazy. Look, okay. Prince PB is in. She herself has only popped 200 balloons. Like, look at that. This, like, some of these guys just popped. Like, look at this guy. This guy has almost popped as many as her, and he just spawned. Okay, he's he's popped more than her now. Think about that. Like, look out! Look look at those guys pops! Oh, we can get the Orgaloric now. There we go. Okay. Now, now nothing gets by. He he just literally just becomes a sun god. He literally just became a sun god, and nothing is ever gonna get by him. I wonder if any balloons are gonna get by him. Okay, camo balloons will get by him, which is kind of annoying. But anything that oh, and magic balloons. Okay, they're too strong. Are we actually like taking damage? It oh wow, we are actually taking damage. Wait, what? You couldn't hit that? Oh, okay. Okay, I was not paying attention, and I, I hit the restart. Oh, I'm so bad. Hmm. All right, guys, I can't believe I hit the restart button on accident, but unfortunately, that's all the time we have today. I actually have somewhere that I need to be, and I'm unable to kind of like, I wish I could finish it, but we're going to have to be able to finish this tomorrow. Thanks for understanding. You guys are amazing. We'll do something super awesome tomorrow, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. I'm, I'm actually really annoyed I wasn't able to finish it, but you guys are awesome. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.